Jacket Jills, I'm Epic Botch, and welcome back to Day of the Tentacle Remastered! <laughs> In the last episode, we won the human contest with our mummy, and that just goes to show you that tentacles know nothing about humans. It's awesome. In this episode, we finally figured out how to get the purple tentacle away from guarding this grandfather clock, and now we're gonna hop inside, so open up! And jump it! Oh, Laverne, ouch. Okay, so we have a you suck vacuum, because you have to have one. Everyone has to have one in all their basements. That's how you empty the vacuum cleaner, I guess. Oh, anything built in shop vac? It has a door on the side. Okay, um. Your time machine ruins. Let's let's look at this real quick. Good riddance. <laughs> but we need that, you fool. Okay, so we have an extension cord that we did a long time ago. Holy shamoli. We're going to But it's all hooked up outside. We're going to use it with not with the extension cord itself, with the outlet. There we go. Wow, look at all that extension cord that just happened to disappear. So we have a generator, but let's go ahead and use it. Use... Use generator with generator? I don't think so. Why not? It's the same generator that was in Dr. Fred's lab. Awesome. So, use it? I don't want to disturb it. It's all hooked up. Okay. I don't think I can do that. Hmm. Okay. I don't do housework. <laughs> oh, I wish that could be my motto. But I do housework all the time, so never mind. So, a long time ago, we had a hamster. Who's the hamster with right now? It is with Bernard, so we can actually put it because it's alive, but I do have another thought. What has been like the one useless thing in this world or in this timeline and in the future one that we've never used and it's just like, ooh, this has been here for a really long time. Tentacle amends constitution. Humans now slaves. There's only like two tentacles. So how is he doing this? Um, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, it's a game. That's right, you guessed it, we're putting the hamster in the ice I'm sorry to box. do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. The future? <sighs> Yikes, okay, let's, uh... No way, there's things in there that look like they've been there for years. There we go. Okay, so, let's check out the future. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Wow, hippity hop all the way up those stairs. All right. Open it up. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Let's go ahead and pick up our hamster. Oh, chilly. Oh. I mean, that's technically one way to uh, warm up an ice cube, but whew, I wouldn't want to do it. Would not want to do it at all. So I have... Oh, man. This is a microwave. Yeah, it's a microwave. I have a thought, guys. This isn't gonna go well. That is Gosh, quite- I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Yeah. Those things could really pop a hamster good. You fool! Uh -oh. Take him out! Take him out! Stop! Stop! Oh, poor hamster. Yeah, 
Yeah, yes. Yeah. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do Or, it. you know, go see extensive therapy. Oh, look at him. He's so sad. He still looks really cold. Um. Hmm, it's empty. Oh, it's empty. Okay. <sighs> well, you know what? Some running will warm him up, so let's go ahead and give that a try. Jump. All right. Let's warm me up, hamster. He won't run. He just shivers. Ooh. Okay. Just a moment. Okay, Jack and Jills. I could have sworn we'd done this already, but apparently we still have the sweater. Um... And we can't put it in our toilet thing because it doesn't, because apparently we can't do this and just crumple it up and throw it in there. So the only other thing that we have <laughs> is this dryer. Will it go in the dryer? Okay, let's uh, use a quarter with the coin slot. Later that day. Whew. Um, so let's see if it's in the future, if we just leave it alone. Cause I mean, even a big sweater, that's gonna warm up a hamster, right? I don't know. I don't know much about hamsters. I never had one as a pet. Don't, I don't personally understand them too, too much. Are they soft? It must be it. Hey, look! It's done! It's tiny. Puppy Ooh, thing. cute. Let's go warm up our hamster. We're coming, hamster! This ought to warm him up. Oh, <laughs> he does not look happy. <laughs> oh! What? Why did we get punched in the face? Um... I want the hubcap, because it's an object I can have now. What do, what do we have to say about it? It has a dent in it shaped like my skull. Why did I pick this stupid thing up? Because why not? All right, come here, hamster. Hello, Fluffums? Oh, I like that, Fluffums. I can't fit in there. Why not? You stick your hand in there. I'm sure he's in there. Okay, well, w can I, I'm gonna. There's a face print on the glove. I hope it's sprung for good. Can I take it? It's done moving. Okay, I guess. All right, um, really the only thing I can think to use in here is the vacuum. Uncle! Oh man, this poor hamster. He's been frozen for 200 years. We put him in a microwave that could have easily killed him. We put him in a terrible Christmas sweater. Or not really Christmas sweater. And now we just used a vacuum to get him out of a mouse hole. Ugh. Poor guy. He's been through a lot. Well, there we go. 
Look at that sucker go. He just keeps running and running and running. He's like the Energizer Bunny. Hey, look! Yes! Da, 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 da. All right, so we have Hoagie, and we have Laverne, and now we just gotta work on Bedard. Whew. Let me go ahead and park her outside, since that is really the only thing we need from her now. Okay, Jack and Jules. Just go through the door, Goober. Just go through the door. <laughs> all right, so we still have to figure out how to get Bernard's, I'll go all the way around the counter, the long way. And Dr. Fred, we still can't, we still can't do anything. He's still freaking out. He's freaking out, man, freaking out. I've heard it's not too good to disturb a sleepwalker. Yeah, probably not. Um, the, so oh man, so if I remember correctly, because it has been that long since we've tried to solve this, there is, Nurse Edna is in here, and she won't let us anywhere near this. And last time we were in Hoagie's time, we changed the statue? Creepy. Yeah, pretty much. I don't remember it changing, and I don't think it really changed that much, much. But I'm gonna try something. Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't take that as advice. Don't push old ladies downstairs. Bad idea. Ugh. You've got to be kidding me. That was stupid and easy after me trying to figure out how to work this. But we're going to do that in the next episode, Jack and Jills. Sorry for the suspense. I just want you guys coming back for more. If you like this episode, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and check out what Bard Bear's doing. It's tons of fun. So much fun. I will see you guys in the next one.